Every time I remembered ministry, I remembered marriage. Because I knew that you can be highly anointed, but dangerously frustrated if you marry the wrong person. Because I've seen it. I've seen a man die, a minister of the gospel, close to Kenneth Hagin. When we were growing up, he was traveling from here out of the country. The wife frustrated him to death. And the Lord said, it's time to show you who your partner will be in life and ministry. Yes, Lord. Within seven days, he was a piece by piece. The person is like this. The person is like this. The person is like this. The person has such gifting. By the seventh, by, by, the, by the time before the seventh day, the picture came together and said, ah, is it this person? This is the same person I have been praying for and trusting God to give her a good husband. I mean, if you see God asking, she, it never crossed my mind that she could be the person. It's more like the way you see your sister and you are wishing her well. Like a junior sister, sort of. And you are wishing her well. Praying. Her. Because this is a small young girl. Jump into the taxi and start preaching. School bus and start preaching. In front of hostess is preaching. Father, let no bad man marry this, boy, this girl. Let nobody just marry her out of this passion. Out of this, call, out of this kind of zeal. And I, I think God answered my prayer. God, God answered your prayer. Very because I'm not, I'm not a bad person. God answered. He gave her a very good husband. Who, what, what husband can be gooder than this? I <laughs>